Hey there, YouTube. How's it going? Ben, I don't know. I always want to say Ben a while. And I'm going to stop that because it's just this self-loathing awkwardness. Oh, it's the title of the video. Response to Amanda's awkward stories. Check out my own. I loved that because it was terrible. And this is awkward story time. So yeah, I watched Amanda's video and I was like, oh my god, I relate to this so much. So much. You have no idea. I mean, I, you probably do because you're watching this video and going, fuck, this guy's awkward. <laughs> that was a High School Musical joke. Apparently I had to get back into it and apparently I had to reference High School Musical of all things. I was thinking about meeting people at conventions and... Um, stuff like that. Um, similar to Madness right now, like, the only big convention where I met, like, people from YouTube at was PAX East 2014. I think it was 2014. I always get that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was 2014. Okay, I don't have that camera anymore, but my phone died when I went to this meet and greet for the Runaway guys. So all I had was, like, this Sony Handycam. Yeah, that's the one. Except for mine was red, unless this image is red, because I actually managed to find a picture of the red one. I have low hopes. So anyways, that's all I have with me. And I took selfies with it. I took selfies with Chugga Conroy. I took selfies with Proton John. I took selfies with fucking Luka Jin. <laughs> Using this Sony handicap. Because my phone was dead and it was so, so embarrassing. So like, I'm waiting in line and I get up there and I'm trying to take a selfie with Chugga with the camera, but I don't know how it's going. It takes like, it took, I swear, it took like three minutes to take the selfie because I didn't know what I was doing. I'd never used picture mode on this camera before and it was so awkward and I had no clue what to say to him. Same thing happened with, uh, it was a little better with Proton John, but like, I, I was just like, he recognized my Twitch username, but I wasn't ready for that. Like, I went up there and I was just gonna be like, Hey, John, I love your stuff. I'm like, uh, come in your stream and it's talking here. I was like, what? It's like, talking here. Yeah, I know you. Yeah. You're awesome, man. I'm like, what the hell? How How does this guy know me? How? Uh, he never, I just assumed that he never reads Twitch chat. And like, that's fair. It's like, thousands of people are in that Twitch chat. So like, Sure, I was like, that's one story. I'm like, whatever, I'm going to one story. And we don't know any of these people, and that's probably fair. And honestly, like, as far as, like, meeting actual, um, actually, there's, like, one more story. Um, it also, it, from Pax East, anyway, it was, like, super awkward. The way this went down was, so I was at Strong Controllers. I didn't get picked, unfortunately. But, um... So they were handing out the cards to people in seats, and uh, I don't know exactly what, how it went down, but I, Donna Bells was passing out cards, and I thought she had asked, like, what row still needed them, so, or, like, who wanted them, and so I, like, I answered, but, like, I guess that wasn't what she said, and she rolled, and I don't blame her at all, like, this fucking kid who just wants their chance of fame or whatever, like, begging for a card, because I was, like, I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was something along the lines of, uh, I haven't got one yet, basically, which, no fucking shit. <laughs> so... She, like, rolls her eyes and says, you'll get one if there's some left when I get to you. And, like, you know what? Fair. Fair. I was, like, instantly, like, oh, my God, I am such an idiot. There's one more. This is awkward with, like, a friend of mine. So I went to PAX East with, like, five other people. Um, and my mom drove, and that was really cool. And we put her up in a hotel room. We gave her some spending money and stuff. It was a good time. It was, like, still, like, cheaper than if we had all the like, plane tickets or something. Um... That was a good time. And then, so I was supposed to meet up with one of my friends and go to this narrative panel. Um, it was like after from controllers. But in between the two, like I had some time and I was going to go to the Runaway Guys meeting greet. But then my phone died. So I lost all ability 
need to tell time because I don't carry a watch. So it was dead. And I'm like, I'm sure it's fine. But like it wasn't. <laughs> that was the time. And then I uh, just lost track of time because I, I ended up talking with um Lukajin and I think Liam Six. Like for at, like that, they had like an hour time slot, but it ended up going like half an hour. Oh, I keep saying like, and I'm really self-aware of this right now. So yeah, the it went half an hour over to like hour. It went half an hour over the hour time slot they had. So it was like an hour and a half. And that, that was right when that other panel was supposed to begin. I just kept talking with Luigi and Liam Six. It was like really cool. And I was like four or five of us fans were just standing off to the side while everyone else was getting... Um, a chance to sign, have stuff signed, and um, talk to the core TRG crew. Uh, so it was really cool, and I, like, it was a fabulous time. Uh, Reese Luigi was super awesome, super nice. She drew, um, she drew a horse on this one guy's arm. <laughs> that was a very vulgar horse. It was a really great time. Uh, I asked for an awkward selfie. And she's like, okay. So, um, she just plants her lips on my cheek. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I just like snapped it with the, with the handy cam. And like, that was awkward. But like, we were all embracing the awkward. So that was kind of a good awkward, I guess. I keep talking with my hands and scorch. when you're like, move your hands down. But I'm not reshooting it. But scorch, I know you're about to shit on my hands. I'm gonna grab onto my seat for the rest of the story. I end up stuck at this. I'm not stuck. I'm not enjoying it. I end up staying way too long at this panel, and then I get it. I get my phone charged. That's like wall outlet or something. And I look at the time. I'm like, oh shit! I've totally missed this panel. And my friend was mad at me. And fair play. And the explanation was so awkward. It was just like, why? I'm like, I, was, I didn't stand you up. I just stood myself up, really. It wasn't a good time. I still talk with my hands. But yeah, I just had a couple similar stories like that, and I felt like sharing them with y'all. So thanks to the Men of the Jedi for like, inspiring this video. Have a good gay. Have a good gay. Yep, have a good gay. Have a good day, and don't forget to be awesome. Keep on gaming. I slowly, awkwardly slide out of the frame. I might already be out of the frame. This joke might not stay in.